destitute, alone, and without a friend for these past seven years. The year was 1560. We were on our way back to Asia, on our way back to Britain after buying the finest silks from Asia. Then came the dreadful storm. Thunder crashed, lightning struck, all was lost. For the past seven years I've been on this godforsaken island waiting for someone to pass, someone to rescue me. Every day has been the same. It's driven me half mad. The isolation, the solitude, the seclusion. I have counted every rock, named every tree. I've even begun to sort the grains of sand before me to colour grade anything to stop the years of boredom. But what then? Once I've classified all these grains of sand before me, then what? What have we left to accomplish? To stimulate my troubled mind? Oh, cheer up, it's not that bad. Who are you? Do, do my eyes deceive me a rescuer? Oh, praise this day, I'm saved, I'm saved. Saved? A rescuer? Who's that then? Well, you are, uh, aren't you? Look at me. Do these clothes look like they belong to someone in a rescue party? <laughs> no, not me, mate. I'm the same as you. A lone survivor on a maiden voyage. Destitute. Alone. Without a friend. Still, can't be all doom and gloom without it, can you, eh? Weather is nice. It's quite sunny. Well, between typhoons and hurricanes. Beach is quite nice. You go for a swim. I quite like it. Been here nine years, three weeks, and four days, I think. It's hard to tell without some sort of calendar. Still, beggars can't be choosers, eh? Wait, what did you just say? Oh, beggars can't be choosers. No, 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 before that. Oh, uh, I haven't got a calendar? Well, it wasn't that. Oh, the beach is lovely. No, after. Uh, oh, been here nine years, three weeks. Yeah, nine years? I know, the years just fly by, don't they? But I've only been here seven. That means you were here when I... Yeah, I knew. You know? So you arrived, didn't I? You saw me arrive? Okay, that was like having a bloody parrot. Yes, I saw you arrive. Where have you been all this time? Oh! You've been tucked over there in that old crevice. I thought you knew I was around. No! Do you not think if I'd known I would have tried to make some sort of contact? Oh, I just thought you were in a, you know, a bit shy. No! <laughs> Jesus, seven years you never think to come over and say hello? Well, I thought about it, but... Well, you know what it's like when you get new neighbours? You never quite sure how long to leave it before you go and introduce yourself. And then I thought I might have waited too long and that ship had sailed, if you pardon the pun. <laughs> I thought you knew I was around. I didn't want to intrude. No, oh. Bloody hell, seven years on my own, all I had to do was walk a bit further and peer into that cabin. Huh. Well, you've been there. Uh, Everyone's been inside that keeping grotto. No, not me. Oh, okay. Huh. Still, you've got to laugh about it, haven't you? <laughs> Just me then? Just you. Oh, wait till the others hear about this. Um, uh, others? Yeah. But you said you were the only survivor. On that ship, yeah. There are plenty of others, though. Just what? the shoots. Alone and without a friend. Morning! Morning! Nice day, isn't it? Not bad. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, we're talking now, are we? I thought you said he was, you know, shy. No, no, no. Turns out he didn't know we was here. Oh, right. Ashworth lives over the other side of the island. He'd say that fanny, that cranny, cranny over there. Her story begins on the great tidal wave Let of defeat. Cast me ashore. As tall as the sky herself were the waves, I've never seen anything like it before or since. Most of the men were swept overboard, never to be seen again. I tried to steer the ship to safety, but it was too late. She sank to meet her watery grave, and I was left marooned on this island, destitute, alone, and without a friend. For the first few days, but I met you, didn't I? <laughs> Wait, uh, I, I, I can't get this all in my head. I, I, I just need to think. So, I spend my day doing three things. First, I spend it looking for firewood, which I then would try to light with limited success. Second, I sit and speak to the rock with the weird face for company. What, what rock? I haven't seen any rocks with weird looking faces. <laughs> that is a pretty weird looking rock. And thirdly, I then spend the remainder of my day looking for my firewood which has mysteriously disappeared. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? 
Sorry. That's my fault. I thought you were bringing it for us. Why would I bring firewood for someone I apparently didn't want to speak to? Then why did you never light it? I tried! I had difficulty getting it to catch. It was kind of an odd thing to do. You think? Alone and without a friend. Will everyone stop saying that? Oh, hello, I don't think we've been introduced. We got another castaway to join the club. Mm -hmm. Larry, this is Miller. Miller, this is Larry. It's a pleasure to meet you. I wish mm -hmm. I could say likewise. <laughs> Miller's story begins a few years ago. He was sailing on a Let me explain. A few years ago, there was a pirate ship. Pirated by a man so evil. It would make them toughest of grown men quiver. I was staying in these waters not far from here when a man by the name of Captain Seaweed <gasps> captured the whole crew. I alone swam to safety and I've been here ever since. Wait a minute. It's Larry the Loner. What? I'm right, aren't I? It's Larry the Loner. What do you mean, Larry the Loner? It's, it's nothing. No, 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 tell me. Seriously, it's, it's nothing. It's... Is that what you call me? No, no of no, course no. not! No! It is, isn't it? Well, that's just great. So not only do you never come and say hello to me in seven years, but you also amuse yourself by making up names for me. How lovely! Anything else I should know about? A large vessel, perhaps, filled with the finest foods of the Orient? Or maybe a grand hotel with a large sweeping staircase and a members club? We just lounge around discussing names and pass out to steal my firework! Surprise you! Punch me the balls while you're at it! Well, son! <laughs> I'm sorry, Wilson. But will you give it a rest? <clears throat> so, any other surprises I should know about? Anyone else about to walk into my life? No, it's uh, just the four of us. Oh, and, and, and her. Oh, what the fuck? Destitute. Alone. And, and without alone. a friend. Yes, yes, we get it. Nicholson was on the largest... Uh, let me tell my story. I was on the largest ship you could have feasted your eyes upon. It sank. You didn't expect to see you around here this time of morning, Nicholson. I was wondering where you'd all gone to. Oh, he's just chatting to Larry the Luna. Who? Larry! Larry the Luna! I thought we called him Solitary Sack. No, 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 Solitary Simon was the one who built the raft out of lig licks, twigs and leaves and tragically bought it at the first sight of Tidal Wave. No, you're thinking of Secluded Sally. But then who was it we called Solitary Simon? Solitary Simon is the one who strapped himself to the log and tried to flute away. I thought that was Robin the Recluse. <laughs> now you mentioned it, Robin the Recluse definitely built the raft. It was Solitary Simon who tried swimming for it back in 1653. That's where you both were saying. It was Desolate Dave who tried swimming for it in 1563. Mm. Robbie the recluse plucked up the courage and tried to swim in 1562, but the strong currents pulled him under. No, that's Henry the Hermit, John. <laughs> Henry the <laughs> Hermit! I forgot about him! What was an isolated issue? What ever happened to Henry the Hermit? Did he dig a tunnel under the island and try to start his own civilization? Uh, no. <laughs> that's friendless Frederick, York. I was wondering what. Will you all just shut the fuck up? Just well, I think he's quite rude. No wonder he hasn't got any friends. Hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It can't be easy for him here on his own, can it, eh? It's understandable that he's a bit tetchy. How about we put all of this behind us and we pretend like this is the first time we met each other, eh? What do you say? Great! We're all getting along fine now, aren't we? Huh? Oh, blimey! Look at that! Look at the sun! It's that time already! Time for our meeting. It can't be that time already. Well, it is. What meeting? Well, each month we have a meeting. We formed a committee to discuss important matters. Mm -hmm. Come on, meeting's about to start. Wait, where did you get the... Uh, but... Oh, that's the stage crew. They're, they're useless. I, I... But how come I didn't get... I... Sorry. Uh... <laughs> I know Larry the Loner's our new friend. 
but technically it hasn't been voted on to committee. She's right. We can't just have anyone deciding to join. We should have a vote. Mm, I suggest we vote him up. Shouldn't we have a vote on that? A vote to see if we vote to have him up? I think we should. Mm. Right, right. You're in! Right then, I call this meeting of the Shipwreck Alliance to order. Firstly, any apologies? Uh, all accounts are four plus the, plus, plus the one. Excellent. Could the secretary record the appointment of our new member? Yep, yeah, right away. Excellent. You can be our new treasurer. Treasurer? What does that entail exactly? Currently, three small rocks, some seaweed, and a gold coin. We, we lost the gold coin. Three ah. small rocks and some seaweed. <laughs> it's your job to ensure their safekeeping, Mr. Treasurer. Why? Why? It's the only currency we have on this island. Unless you've got any money we don't know about. But surely you only need money to buy things. And since there's nothing to buy, what do we need currency for? Good Lord, he's right! God, this new treasure is good. He saved us loads of money already. Anyway, moving on. Minutes from last week's meeting. Secretary? <laughs> right. <clears throat> the tide went in and out again. Ashworth was going to watch that. Uh, the sand went from a yellowish brown to a brownish yellow, and it was agreed that no one should escape and or attempt to be rescued, as each attempt results in a watery grave. Wait, none of you are going to try to leave here ever? That's what we proposed, seconded, and agreed upon unanimously. I mean, the Shipwreck Alliance used to be a thriving community, but over the years there have been many escape attempts, and each endeavour has gone unrewarded, resulting in the bottom of the deep, deep, deep. Ocean. Um, but, but, but that doesn't mean you should stop trying. Uh, listen, that. You're new, but we've had to learn the hard way. So many times we've gathered here on this beach to send one of our own off on their escape bed. But no matter how hard they've tried, they fail. It's like some sort of cruel and twisted fate. Maybe it's the current pulling them under. Maybe it's mermaids hungry for blood. Or maybe it's the small rocks we keep in our pockets as currency. Who knows? All I know is we're safer here than we are out there. Absolutely correct. Wait, all of these people <coughs> acted alone, correct? Yeah. Well, what if we set off together? Well, then we'll all die together. We'll die together if we stay here. Look, what if we... What if we build a raft? A raft that we test over and over again to make sure that it's seaworthy. Yes, it, it will only take a fifth of the time with the five of us doing it. A raft that the five of us can manage. That way, if someone falls overboard, we can help them back to safety. We might stand half a chance. Together, my friends, we shall overcome the hazards that await us. Together, my friends, we shall journey out of hell in search of a world waiting to embrace us. Together, my friends, we sail home. Nah. Nah. What? Well, it's not that I don't want to, but there'd be a lot of packing to do. What on earth would you possibly have to pack? Lots of things. My shell collection, my Pile on, which sounds like far too much hard work. But, but think about the freedom! The freedom! <laughs> this is freedom. We get up when we want. We eat whatever we can find. You know, I'm with Nicholson on this. Do I really want to go back? I mean, my mind says yes, but my heart says no. The weather, the weather's better here too. Hold on. Let's not dismiss Brother Larry's suggestion out of that. The way I see it, I think we help him. I mean, what do you say? We help Larry build his raft, eh? We test it, we make it as safe as we can possibly make it. And then, uh, Larry, you can go find your freedom. Those who want to stay can stay, and those that want to go can go. Sounds like a good plan. What's well, fine by me. Yes, let's do it. So it's settled. We'll help Larry build his raft, and he'll be alone and no more. Yeah! yeah. 
Then what are we going to call him? Just Larry, I suppose. My name's not even Larry. Don't try to learn a new name now, boy. You've got a raft to build. <laughs> Insert piece C into aperture A. Um, who's got piece C? Oh, I think I have it. It looks similar to bracket D. Thank you. Take in H and piece G. And now you fix F and R into H and G. Take piece D and insert it. Oh, I'm going to insert them into you in a minute. Oh, they can't do this. We're doomed. Doomed. Larry, Larry, listen. Sure, me, I can go this slower, can't you, Miller? You only tried to help. And nobody's saying that you weren't, or asking you to go a little bit slower, isn't that right? Fine. Right. Ready when you are now. <clears throat> Take. Oh, for the love Miller! What? You know what your problem is, Larry? You've forgotten how to smile. So you've suffered a fate worse than death and been cut off from everything you love. Complaining about it isn't going to help. Complaining, no. But sailing far away will. I'll be smiling once I'm far away from here. You say that now, but you'll miss us. <laughs> You're probably going to miss me too. Miss you? I, I didn't know you existed two days ago. We finished the raft! But it doesn't even look close to being done yet. <laughs> oh, <Open> it. <laughs> no. No. This, this is my Ikea black patent bookcase. <laughs> pretty, pretty difficult to get all the parts shipped out here and to get them in one piece. Plus we were using the wrong instructions, so there's that. So, where's the raft? Here it comes now. Oh, we've got a highly skilled toy bus that trained my skis working on that. We call them the backstage crew. They're really good at putting things together, but they have a nasty habit of uh, throwing shit at each other. What on earth are you... Oh! Fantastic! See, I can smile! Already through a big adventure then? Ready to take to the waters? Come back, see monsters, man versus nature once more. The sooner the better. You, you really don't like it here? No, I do not. Not even a little bit? No, my mind is made up. I mean, surely there must be things about this island that you can't stand. Not really. Well, I say not really, but... What is it? It's not very nice when it rains. No, it isn't. Anything else? The food's not up to much. Yeah, you're telling me. I've been having to live off the fish I catch. To be honest, there aren't many fish around these parts. Fish? You've had actual fish? I've had to live off the tree leaves of a bobo bobo tree. Fish? They never seem to reach my patch, and now I know why. This bastard's been stealing them all. Bobo bobo trees are very great, you know. They're shriveled ones. I knew it. It was you stealing all those leaves. I'd have killed for a leaf. No. Some of us had to suck the moisture from tree bark. Tree bark? You mean actual tree bark? I have to survive off rainwater and twigs. Those twigs give me terrible indigestion. Mm, not quite the paradise you will be making it out to be, is it? Well, apart from the food, it is. The shelter's not up to much. I've had to live at the top of a tallest tree, and to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of heights. Mine's all right, I suppose. I can't grumble. Only it's made out of twigs, and somebody keeps eating my house. <laughs> Fine, apart from the food and the shelter, you know. Apart from those things, I miss my mum. I miss it too. Mm. I miss hearing songs in the marketplace. Now, what's this one song? Da, da, no, you've all been settling for second da, da, best. Not even second best. This place is crap. It's shit. You've all been lying to yourselves. Been sat here, sat in hell, making excuses about why you don't want to rule you all to shut up. Sorry, Larry. Well, come on, man. This is a bit cliche. Cliche? You want to talk about cliche? <laughs> Point taken. Look. This is not Utopia, it's just some island where there's nothing to eat, nothing to drink, and the company's shit. Oh my Christ, it's right! What have we been doing? We've wasted all these years! Larry's right, this place is a nightmare. Well, what are we waiting for? 
Larry, you've got to see the error of our ways. There's only one thing for it. We're coming with you. Um, I don't think the raft can support all of us. Nonsense. Well, we'll have to squeeze close, but I'm sure we can all fit on, can't we? Uh, but, but, but why take the chance? And when you get back to civilization, where are you all going to stay? I don't know. Perhaps we'll stay with you. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Wherever you end up, we'll be with you till the end. Are you mean... Uh, Shh! Wherever you go, we're coming with you. <laughs> the five of us will be inseparable. Just imagine as we talk about our time here over and over and over. But no, you can't come! Why not? Uh, because... Because... Oh, I see! So you want to sail off to civilization, but not together? I'm starting to get the feeling that you don't like us very much, Larry. Oh, um, it's... <laughs> it's not that I don't, I don't like you. It's... I... I can't stand you! I, I haven't slept in two days! It's just constant racket about committee meetings, shell collections, and they for two full bloody days! <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone, you heard what he said. So, do we build another raft? No! We help build this one! This one's right for the hours! Well, there's no solution. Should we put it on the agenda for next week's committee meeting? No! No! Just, just take it! If you are going, then I am staying. I can't spend another hour in your company. Sounds me, but it's true! If there's anything I've learned in the past two days, it's this. I don't like people, and I've very much grown to like my own company, and very much to do without anything in my life ever again! He's lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Two pebbles short of a pound. Shame. Just, just, just take it! Just take it and go! Well, then you'll be on your own. Destitute, alone, and, and without a friend! Yes, yes, it's gonna be great! <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're sure, which not one, huh? I have to say, we learned a lot from you, Larry. Gotta say, though, you're probably the biggest prick I've ever met. Goodbye! Safe travels, I'm do please forget to write! I think we pushed him too far. Well, you can come with us. No, no, I'm looking forward to the peace and uninterrupted bliss! Well, if you're sure, come on, let's say hello. Bye, Larry. Goodbye! Goodbye, you good for nothing sacks! Yes! Alone at last! Don't forget to look after the others! Uh, 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 others? Yeah, we may be going, but there's 20 or 30 on the south side of the island. Uh, we thought you knew. Have fun! Destitute, alone, and without a friend! <laughs> 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 <laughs>